Hey guys and girls, so today we're going to talk about um, cameras that don't like to focus, apparently. Um, no, so today we're going to talk about, um, you've mounted a piece of, uh, of washroom hardware or accessory and now it has uh, come off for whatever reason and it might be that you uh, ran into it with your knee or uh, maybe you got angry at the toilet paper and tried to mount it on there and it all went for a crap. Maybe something like that and it got caught on there and uh, ended up pulling off the wall. No judgments out there. But uh, anyways, we're going to show you how I'm going to fix this anyways. Um, there's multiple ways out there. Um, so the problem is, is that now the holes that you've uh, made in here they're pretty brittle. The paper has been broken. You can see it's been torn out here. So you could use a bigger um, screw and anchor like this one. And it would probably work. You could also use something like this one here. But it, again, it's they're plastic. I don't like them. Um, I'm just going to say that. So. This is what I'm going to use. It's a toggle bolt and basically you compress this and it'll go back behind the drywall and then it'll spring and then when you start tightening it'll actually tighten against the drywall. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get these um, original anchors off of here. A pair of pliers. Sorry. Things all caught up here, so we're just gonna clamp down and unscrew that. There's one. There's two. So now we've got our mounting bracket, and it's ready to go. Okay, so welcome back. Just had to change batteries in there. So now we've got our mounting bracket that needs to be mounted. So we're going to take the toggle bolt and all you do is you unscrew it, slide it through the hole on the bracket, and then you're just going to basically screw it back on. These can be a little bit of a pain. Um, yeah, I'm just going to say that. <laughs> Small holes, kind of finicky. There's little springs in there that you have to be mindful of. So again, unscrew it, put the screw through the hole in your bracket, get your toggle bolt on the back side. Hopefully this. And sorry, we got the wash going on there, probably hearing some noise in the background. So I like to leave enough room because you've got to compress this, you need to leave at least a half an inch on the back side so that these things can flick open again, if that makes any sense. So that's why I kind of leave them almost at the end. So what you'll do is you'll just line them up, push them in, and you'll hear like a little, you'll actually hear them kind of flick open and you'll feel it. Now I've got um, insulation in this wall so that's why they're kind of they're kind of bouncing back out. So now that they're in there, what I like to do is put a little bit of tension outwards and you'll just do it a little bit at a time so that it has something to grip on. Now, these bits here, or sorry, these screws are supposed to be a combination of uh, the square or Robertson head and the Phillips head, they are not. They're more for a square than they are for uh, Phillips. So you hear the bit kind of kind of spinning and not really catching a hundred percent, but for what we're trying to do here, it's perfect. So you just make sure that it's kind of lined up to where it was before. Because you'll see that there's some paint that's come off 
and that just happens over time just the pressure of having this against the wall it'll actually kind of meld itself to uh, the washroom accessory and it'll kind of peel off sometimes it's normal it's nothing wrong with the paint or anything it's just you're putting that paint under a lot of stress so now we've got that bracket on there nice and tight this will not come off again you will have to break this entire piece of drywall off in order to uh, get those fasteners out of that wall it's going nowhere um, so if you're having troubles with uh, toilet paper like I was allegedly um, you won't rip it off the wall this accessory just hangs on here small allen key allen wrench to tighten it on and of course I bottomed I bottomed it out before I took it off so it's going to take a while to actually tighten this on but you guys get the idea now we're back nice and tight and hang this out well, see there there it goes again that's exactly why this happened in the first place so shame on you Sherman for these cheap uh, uh, paper towel or uh, toilet paper uh, cardboard rolls that you're using but not your fault I guess I guess it was mine for getting aggressive with it but anyways now you've got something nice and strong it's gonna last you forever if you like the video thumbs up didn't like the video thumbs down tell me why down in the comments Think about hitting that subscribe button. We're adding stuff like this all the time. Could be house maintenance, property maintenance, car maintenance, uh, reviews. Could be cats uh, meowing in the background. Who knows? Anyways, until the next video, take her easy, guys and girls.